Did you know that our skin can tell us a lot about what's going on with our thyroid? Many times women with thyroid conditions have issues with dry skin, dry cracked heels, rashes, peeling skin, dandruff, flaky scalp, and it can translate also into athlete's foot or funky toenails. All of these things that are topical or visual on our skin give us a clue about what's going on inside the body, specifically in the gut. So we've been talking a lot in these videos about how T4 that's produced by the thyroid gland needs to be converted into T3 in the liver. And many of us don't do that well. Now, one of the reasons that we don't do that well is because of yeast or fungus overgrowth. So the category of fungus includes yeast and mold. And a lot of women with thyroid disease have sneaky little villains like that living in the gut. Now, yeast and mold, specifically candida, which a lot of us hear about, candida is a yeast that will get into the gut and it just lays a track down in the digestive tract. So it kind of looks like that cottage cheese, icky yeast infection that some of us might be familiar with, but it's in the gut. So it coats the walls of the gut and now we can't absorb our nutrients. It also translates into skin rashes. So that can be those things I described. It can come out as dandruff, psoriasis, patches of itchy, dry skin. It can be, um, even yeast infections are associated with it. The funky toenails, the athlete's foot, um, armpit rashes. This is a big one. If you shave your armpits and you get that red angry rash, that's highly connected with gut fungus or the under the boob rash is a very common one that I see a lot with women who have thyroid disease. So if your skin is giving us any clues, we can use that as information. Now, the other thing I frequently see is the back of the arms. Those can get really bumpy. They'll often call that chicken skin on the back of the arms. And that can be a clue that the liver actually isn't detoxing bile correctly. So that can be another little hint that perhaps the liver is not converting T4 to T3 well. Okay. So what does any of that mean? We have the rashes, we have the bumpy skin. What do we do about it? Well, we first of all have to know what we're dealing with. So I like the organic acids test as our first stop. I have all of my clients start here. The organic acids test is a simple urine test that will tell us if you've got candida or if you've got mold or different types of fungus in your gut, those are frequently positive. <laughs> they come up positive in women who have thyroid problems. So first we have to know what's going on. Then I can create a protocol to treat whatever fungus we find. What's really cool is as the skin starts to clear up, the thyroid will start to work too. So the whole body gets looking and feeling better at the same time. I'll drop a link below to learn more about these tests in my masterclass. And let me know, do you struggle with rashes? What is your skin doing? What has happened to your skin as your thyroid has gotten better or worse? Let me know. All right. I'll talk to you soon.